There was much expectation in Moscow to see what the new restaurant that will take the place of McDonald's would be like once the American firm decided to permanently leave after Russia's assault on Ukraine. Alexander Gavor, a Siberian mining tycoon, is the oligarch who decided to revive the 800 restaurants left behind, with a menu now almost entirely with local ingredients. Behind the hamburgers, there is also a political message. Without a doubt, I am a patriot. That is fundamental for me. But this is not directed against anyone, not against America or any other country. After three months closed, the place reopens its doors under the name of Vikuzno and Tochka, which could be translated as tasty and that's it. Although customers interviewed said they will continue to use the name of the American firm. I think we'll keep calling it McDonald's. The new restaurant, with a menu largely copied from its predecessor, was sold out on its first day with mixed reaction from fans of the American-style fast food. I've tried everything, hot, cold, salty, and sweet. Everything is good. I really liked the previous brand image, its color and its strength. Now everything seems more sedate, sadder. McDonald's arrived in the Soviet Union 32 years ago as the country was opening to the world. It is now leaving the Russian market indefinitely, but it is also leaving behind an unmistakable imprint of American culture. Marcus Harton, BOA News.